Good morning, friends. We are back with the second topic of class 12th economics, and our today's topic is what is the difference between microeconomics and macroeconomics. But before initiating the whole process, I want to first of all define and make it very clear that what is microeconomics and what is macroeconomics. So, microeconomics, as the term suggests, it is being made up with two words that is micro and economics. Micro means that talks about or that takes into consideration a very small portion of a good, of a area or of any temporal thing. Okay. So microeconomics as I have drawn the figure over here, microeconomics deals with an individual. Now the word individual here means that individual can be a man, can be a household, can be a company, etc. So now microeconomics deals with the individual unit that is a household, a individual or a company and its relationship, what relation it shares with the firms, the firms that are being working in the market and what kind of relation it has, the individual and the firm and also what sort of interaction they are going through. For example, that if an individual is going to a firm for buying a good and a firm is charging exorbitant prices, then what would be the effect? Second, also a firm and an individual have a different relationship, a relationship that has been defined because an individual could be a buyer, a firm could be a seller and it could be vice versa as well. That is an individual could be buyer and a firm a seller or an individual could be a seller and a firm a buyer. For example, in both the cases, we can say first example is Amazon, Apple and the second is also the same. Now, also microeconomics talk about the relationship of an individual in terms of borrowing and lending process. Borrowing and lending means the mutual exchange of money. <clears throat> okay. Now, microeconomics as a topic of economics or as a, as a second half of economics deals with following topics. Now, some of them are being enlisted over here. First is consumer behavior. Now, what is consumer behavior? How a consumer behaves in a predefined standard regulated market? Uh, what is a market? Market has been defined with the two forces that is demand and supply. So, in between the two forces of demand and supply, how a consumer behaves? That is, we study consumer behavior in microeconomics. Second example could be market. Now as I just told earlier that market has been defined by the forces, the two only forces of supply and demand. Also uh, the cer certain things that define market is what is the location of market, what products or services it is been giving. And the third example could be utility, utility of a good. So utility, what we mean by utility is what is the what is the satiating power, the satisfying power of a certain good in terms of money a consumer is being paying to for having that good or services. So again we say that in all these topics there is a direct relationship with the individual who is having the comfort of using them. Okay. Now uh, we come to macroeconomics. Macroeconomics is what macroeconomics could be defined as an aggregate of all aspirations, an aggregate of all economic building blocks of an economy. I could make it very clear that here in microeconomics we are dealing with an individual, a household, a company, a firm, etc. But in macroeconomics, as the word suggests itself, that macro means we are considering, considering something very big. 
ओके सो एग्रीगेट ऑफ होल इनकम होल इनकम ऑफ वॉट होल इनकम ऑफ अ नेशन ऑफ अ जोग्राफिकल एरिया सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल ही वी टॉक अबाउट नेशनल इनकम ओके नाउ मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स विज अ विस्ट टू माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स इज अ मोर ब्रॉडर व्यू एंड इट टेक्स इन टू कंसिडरेशन द मेजर फैक्टर्स द मेजर फोर्सेज दैट आर डोमिनेटेड डोमिनेटिंग द इकोनॉमी ऑफ अ नेशन For example, theory of equilibrium, that is level of output and employment. Now, theory of equilibrium, equilibrium, the word itself means to bring something in between, and we want to bring something in between of what? The level of output, what our factories are being producing, what are they producing, uh, what goods are we producing, and also the in terms of employment generation. So we are connecting the relationship between these two factors. Other example of macroeconomics is government budget. The third is balance of payment. Now, what is balance of payment? Balance of pay payment in simpler terms is what we are exporting and what we are importing. For example, India countries like India export in huge chunks gold, petroleum, etc. But what we are exporting is gems. services etc so the difference between what we export and what we import is bop balance of payment also in macroeconomics we talk about gdp that is gross development product the gross the, the, uh, domestic product we talk about banking structure of a nation okay so this figure would make it very clear about what i am saying that economics as a whole constitutes of micro and macro now what is microeconomics microeconomics very clearly deals with the management options an individual is having in front of them for example plan running of a shop running of a shop in terms of money that you are spending uh, in terms of finances that you want so this comes in microeconomics also management option can be better understood by running of a household household income its budget etc now macroeconomics deals with the political options a nation the government of that country is having or facing the political challenges then what are the political challenges in front of a country it could be the major factor is public mood and public opinion because it is the public which decides in which direction the economy of a country or the major forces acting in economy of a country should go ahead are uh, would they be unidirectional would they be multidirectional so it is the public mood or the public opinion that decides what defines macroeconomic direction for uh, a good example of macroeconomics is rising npa what is npa npa is non uh, non performing assets that our banking structure is dealing with at in today's financial year our npa is approximately 10 lakh crores so this is a huge huge challenge for india uh, a good example of public mood is example is gst goods and services tax and other is non monetization so these goods uh, these are the examples that suggest that what public mood or public opinion is about certain policies of the government okay now summarizing the entire thing that what is the basic difference again i am going on the same thing that what is the basic difference between macro and micro the basic difference as we understood all the topics all the concepts is the scope of boundaries that differentiate between both of them the scope of boundary of micro is small and that of macro is big very large and encompassing a nation uh, an area it could be a south pacific asia it could be south south southeast asia etc so that was all for today thank you friends thank you very much and i would like to please uh, urge you people that if you like our video please hit the like button and also share and subscribe us and please comment your feedbacks in the comment box thank you very much